Palliative care is something that works with the diagnosis which are incurable, for example, cancer, uh, many of the bedridden patients with paralysis. So the way we look at them, we think about to improve the quality of their life, relieve their sufferings as well as their families. In palliative care, there is a physical part where we do mainly the symptom management and that symptom includes pain, uh, breathlessness, insomnia, and uh, nausea, vomiting. One of our services is empowering the patient's uh, relatives, patient caregivers, which uh, definitely helps the patient. Um, uh, as this type of patients uh, cannot always come to the facility, to the hospital. So if their caregivers can uh, help them, they can help themselves and empower themselves, that help them more. Then we do psychological care as uh, breaking off bad news, having a conversation with family regarding what we can do, what are the options available here and uh, what can be the next plan for this patient. And social part also because in this country, even in this Rohingya context also, there are some stigma, stigma uh, regarding some diagnosis. We do communication with uh, spiritual leaders like uh, Imam Maji and Mullahs here to make them understand what palliative care is. We met patients' uh, relatives who said, uh, I know my mom is going to die, but if you could do something for to relieve her pain. There is still some way you can think about relieve the sufferings. Uh, not uh, indicating whether he or she will die or uh, their survival rate is so good, the disease prognosis is so good, but you can think about a dignified, respectful uh, service to all of them, to all of them irrespective of their ethnicity, race, age and sex.